Hi, thank you so much for tuning into this video. We have some questions that I would want us to look at today, so it's gonna be an amazing time, and I surely hope you are going to enjoy this and learn a lot from it. Let's get right into it. Number one, how many passengers is a motorcyclist allowed to carry? So is it one or two or three passengers? The law clearly states that on a solo motorcycle, only one passenger is to be carried and a proper pillion seat and foot rests is to be provided. So the correct answer for this question is one passenger. Number two. What do you do when you see an airplane in your view mirror? What is the correct answer here? Do you stop? Or you reduce speed? Or you adjust your rear view mirror? Now, what do you think is the answer? Well, if you see an airplane in your rear view mirror, it definitely means that your rear view mirror are positioned wrongly, and the only reasonable thing to do is to adjust your mirrors. So the correct answer for this question is option C. Now, moving on to number three, which says at a stop sign, you should. So what should you do and not do at a stop sign? Now, let's look at our answers. So at a stop sign, should you reduce speed, stop, or slow down? So what should you do? So to answer this one, let's look at what the law says. The law says that if you arrive at a junction that is controlled by a stop sign, your vehicle must stop immediately before the stop line. That is if there is one marked on the road surface. If there is no line, then stop your vehicle in a position such that you will not interfere with traffic. Let's move on to number four. It says the correct sequence of a robot is So from the following, what is the correct, correct sequence of a robot? Now, is it green, red, and amber? Or green, amber, and red? Or red, amber, and green? Now, in order to answer this question, we need to understand the correct sequence of a robot assumes that the robot starts on a green light. Therefore, from that understanding, the correct sequence of a robot is green, amber, then red. To remember this sequence, use the mnemonic G, uh, R green is for green, A for amber, and R for red. So the correct answer here is option B, which is green, amber, then red. Now on to our last question for the day, which says a church up ahead sign is in which class? Is the church up ahead sign a danger warning sign or an informative warning sign or a regulatory sign? So to answer such a question correctly, one needs to understand the shapes of the five classes of traffic signs. A danger warning sign is seen by a triangle. 
An informative sign is identified by a rectangle and a, a regulatory or mandatory sign is seen by a circle. Therefore, a church up ahead sign has to be informative because of its rectangular shape. Also, the sign has information that is informative in nature, and it is informing motorists of the existence of a church that is up ahead. Thank you so much for watching this video, I surely hope you have learned a lot. Please, if are new to this channel and you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to this channel for more and hit on that notification icon so that you will be informed each time we make an upload. Thank you very much for watching and see you in our next video.